Okay, now it's time to go through town. Hopefully I don't get arrested. That's a cop right there. What's up you guys? I'm heading out again. Snowmobiling is one of those sports that even before I started filming and putting stuff on YouTube, it, it's just an incredible pain getting ready. But now that I have to have my GoPro on here, along with my audio system that allows me to talk to you guys, it makes it three times more stressful. Here's my heated face max cord. I'm not like complaining or anything like that. I'm just stating out of all my experiences with every other sport, it's this one is the most tricky Ricky when it comes to organizing, preparing, and then actually riding. And what I mean by that, like first of all, you have to put all this gear on. Second of all, if you want to go out with a group or with a couple buddies, you have to schedule that. And at least with my friends, it's almost impossible to get everybody on the same page. Almost impossible. Do you guys have a group of friends like that? Because I do. Everybody's got something they gotta do, and I completely understand that. But at the same time, if you wanna go rip, you wanna go rip. It doesn't matter what you have to do, it's what you wanna do. So, I personally have my sled all ready to go and only Justin can go riding with me but then something came up and then he couldn't go riding so I'm just gonna go ride by myself and if something happens then something happens. Out of all the years that I've ever rode snowmobile this will be the first time I've actually gone out by myself. I hope nothing bad happens. This is how confident I am in my skidoo right now. I'm riding this thing with nobody else with no spare belt, with a stripped out chain case plug. Like this thing's a ticking time bomb, but I'm so confident in the machine that I'm going and just riding this sucker alone. I don't know if I'm crazy or just stupid. There goes another Mr. Plow. Oh, what the heck, man. Got my sled all muddy. Yep, that's why you don't go into that 100 miles an hour. Lose your front teeth. And just like that, I'm at Jake's house. I don't know if he's home though. It's still there. Okay, you guys, I got it. No more worries. And then hopefully tonight we're gonna go back out. That's a cop right there. Yeah, I think this cord is shot because it's like white. I got a new cord. I'm really, really excited about that. As long as it works. What's up? He came flying around the corner and we were stopped and he bang and smashed my tail light out. Devin did? Yeah. What the heck? Is that a 600 or an 800? 800. So we got two 800 skidoos. You think that's enough oil? Oh yeah, plenty. It is? Yeah. My, my old 600, you'd have to fill up the oil thing every three years. 
I can't see anything. I have no depth perception right now. I cannot see anything. It's that time of the day where there's just not enough light and there's too much light kind of thing. Maybe get a coolant leak. Well, yeah, we'll go. We'll go a little bit, and if it just starts smoking, then it's gonna be a coolant issue. Watch your temp gauge. Justin's sled might be leaking coolant, or snow could have just got on his pipe and start melting, and you know, you make smoke. It's easy to start worrying about stuff, right? So I don't blame him at all. But now we're gonna get on the trail. Hopefully, hopefully the snowmobile isn't going through coolant. I told him to watch the temp, and that's about the best advice I can give him. But now these mirrors are coming in handy. I've never rode with Justin before. I think he's only been in like three of my videos, so you guys don't know him at all either. He was a grade below me. He was in Jake the Toilet Snake's grade. I've got her. Eighty, ninety. <laughs> dog, dog wanted a piece of the old skidoo. See, Justin's sled is like like a racing sled so let's just say a corvette and then mine is like the same cc's the same brand and everything but this is like this model is more like a truck so we'll just say this is like the duramax it's, i mean let's face it it's got tow mirrors from my experience of, from riding this thing and what that thing looks like it's capable of doing with this engine i'm sure that's a badass sled too I like riding better with two people. What do you guys think? Do you guys like riding by yourself or with a group? And if you agree that a group's better, what's that magic number? I think the magic number is as is many people as you possibly can. Even though when it comes to fields and straightaways like this, you can't see anything, but it's still fun. We came up with a plan. We uh, originally wanted to go to Kennedy, but now we're going to Cataraugus. Uh, I think we're gonna go to the Legion and eat. As long as we can make it there, we should get there. And if we don't, chaos is awesome, so. Let's get to it. I don't know what happened here. That yellow stuff, no idea. Whoa. Justin went down. <laughs> Are you good? Dude, I hit that thing fucking hot. I would say so. <laughs> You're good though, right? You're good though? Okay. At least your sled didn't take off on you. You can't get your helmet open? <laughs> you hit so hard your helmet's buckled. It's got lock jaw. You hit so hard that it went in reverse. There you go. Yeah, that could have been way worse. He could have like barrel rolled it or something. But he hit so hard that he went in re his sled like went in reverse. <laughs> oh yeah, and his helmet was jammed shut. <laughs> Try this again. Mm -hmm. 